Welcome to Video Edition. In this installment, we recently traveled to Pittsburgh Public Schools to learn more about a program that gives students hands-on teaching experience while still in high school. But first, we have greetings from Michael Fascinetto, PSBA's new acting president for the remainder of 2017. Let me start by saying that it's an honor to serve as PSBA's acting president for the remainder of 2017 and president in 2018. I look forward to all that we will accomplish in the name of providing the best education for our students. As a parent of three public school children, the association's mission is personal to me. Every student should have the opportunity to grow and achieve. While we engage in decision making that affects our districts, we are reminded that the choices we make have a direct impact on the students we serve. That is why it is all the more important for us to embrace the principles for governance and leadership designed to help boards be the most effective and to commit ourselves to the highest ethical standards because we know that the best leaders lead by example. Despite our best efforts at planning, we will face issues this year that we did not anticipate. However, following these guidelines can help direct us to the most appropriate response no matter what the situation may be. I am currently working toward a master's degree and am once again stepping into the role of a student. I have goals for what I hope this education will help me achieve, like many students do. As leaders in education, our students' successes become our own and give us purpose. We champion the achievements in our schools and encourage positive aspirations. Let's continue to communicate these positive stories throughout our communities and give our students our best so they can reach theirs. We look forward to working with Mike this year and next year when his term as PSBA president begins on January 1st. Next, our On the Road News team recently visited Brashear High School in the Pittsburgh Public Schools to learn more about its teaching magnet. While teacher shortages seem to be on many education professionals' minds lately, Pittsburgh Public Schools have been tackling the problem head-on with a program in existence since 1989. Brashear Teaching Magnet introduces current high school students to the teaching profession with the goal of bringing many of them back to Pittsburgh schools after college graduation. Brashear Teaching Magnet is a high school magnet for students from all over Pittsburgh. They can come here to learn how to be teachers. So there's four years that they take classes. Their freshman year, they take orientation to teaching. Their second year, they take leadership and education. The third year, it's pretty intense. They take issues in education, a lot of research that they do. Um, then their last year, they do um, field placement. They get to go out half day for their senior year, and that's the best part. Well, I wanted to join this program basically because I like, I, I like working with kids, and working with kids, I feel like it can change other people's futures, like make them better, they can help them get a better education into the system, because I know me growing up, it felt like I needed to get my education so I can succeed, so I'm trying to help other kids and other people's children to succeed in life as well, just like I have. Dion Arrington, principal of West Liberty Elementary in Pittsburgh, was a student in the program. Now that she's on the other side, she sees very clearly the benefits for students and the district. There, and I said, you know, I really want to have um, pre-student teachers in my school. So this is the first year that we have five. And I promise to get five new ones um, as the semester begins. But just to watch those students come and have that fire as I did 20 years ago, um, probably a little more than 20 years ago, but just to feel that positive energy and they come to my office with their lesson plans and they want feedback and it's just a way that we can give back. My teachers are excited to give back. It's just this whole reciprocal learning that we get to see. One particular goal of the program is to encourage more African American males to enter the teaching profession. Since moving the program to Brashear, the number of students has increased from 34 to 101. 31 of the students are African-American males, and another 42 are African-American females. When um, I first took over about 10 years ago, um, it was still diverse, but not like it is now, because we needed boys. Uh, white and African-American boys, we, we didn't have any boys. So now we have a lot of boys, and it's important because a lot of our kids will go through a whole elementary school experience, I mean even K through 8, and never have a male teacher. Tammy Schmidt, a fifth grade teacher at Beechwood Elementary School who uses magnet students in her classroom, agrees that diversity is important for her students. 
It, it's a great experience for my students uh, as well because they now have, they see this role model coming into their classroom who's not much older than them, but very responsible and they can see that there are some other options out there for high school. We have two African-American male students, three African-American male students that come from Brashear. And it's very important that my students get to see students of color represented in teaching. So it's really good for my students to see models of other students that look like them that are pursuing careers in education. The program maintains collaborations with many of the colleges in the Pittsburgh region by having professors come to Brashear to facilitate lessons around teaching. The Magnet is a win-win for Pittsburgh Public Schools. It not only is helping to address projected teacher shortages in the future, but also is giving students real-world career preparation, helping them as they move from high school to college and beyond. I've learned all the ins and outs of being a teacher. I've learned the emotional side. I've learned the hardworking side. Dealing with all the children, I've learned different things from different disabilities in children all the way up to grading and everything. Like walking into the classroom and being called like Miss Cheyenne instead of just Cheyenne or Shy, like a nickname. Like the students like respect me and they know who I am. They know why I'm there. And with working with my teacher, she gives me all the benefits of what it's like to be a teacher, what you need to do, and how you need to do it. And so I get first insight on what I need to do. And it's really helpful because whenever I go to college, I'm already going to be prepared on what I need to do. The program also is a great way for high school students to see if they like teaching before going to college. What I love about it is I love that these children, these students of Brashear, get the opportunity to come over, dabble in education, decide and see if they really like education before they go off to college and invest four years into it. So that's the first thing. Um, but I also, what it means to my classroom itself is that I have the opportunity to individualize um, instruction more for my students. Beyond the practical goals of the program, Magnet students find it helps them find their way in a very large urban school district. I think the student benefits from the Magnet. First off, I think they feel like a family because when they come freshman year, we're in a huge comprehensive high school. I feel that they, when they come here, a lot of times it's intimidating. So the Magnet itself is a place where they feel safe because they're with all the kids that they know and they travel. And I encourage them to go to basketball games and football games together. The teaching Magnet, it's just great. Like even if students don't want to go into teaching, it's the place really where you can find yourself. What advice would teachers give to students thinking about a teaching career? I would say follow your heart, follow your dream. Um, I've known since I've been five years old that I wanted to be a teacher. So if it's something that's you know truly something that you feel like like you can do, um, you should follow your dream because it is the most rewarding profession in the world. Um, the, just to, to see the kids that are struggling and not, not understanding something to all of a sudden a light bulb going off and you can see their eyes light up and how excited they are. Um, that's like better than a paycheck for me. I'm Steve Robinson for Video Edition. Brashear Teaching Magnet will be highlighted as part of the Success Starts Here campaign in the coming months. Be sure to visit successstartshere.org often to read all the great success stories of public education and be sure your school district, IU, or CTC is submitting its own. Thanks for watching Video Edition. We'll see you next time.